Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we saw function interface, its application, its syntax, the default and static method that comes up with this function interface. We also saw function joining and chaining. We also saw the difference between function and predicate. So in case you have missed this, just click on the link mentioned on the top of your screen in the i button. So in this video, we'll cover some more examples to have a better understanding of function interface. So we'll extend the same example that we saw in our last video. So let's get started. So let's take an example to understand the function joining. So let's consider I have a string here and I want to convert this string to the uppercase characters and also I want to replace these spaces with the comma. Now we have a function f1 which will convert the string to uppercase. So here is my function f1 and now I have another function which will remove all these spaces from the string with a comma. So here I have the function f2. Now let's look at this code into the actions so that we can have a better understanding on function chaining. So here I have a class function chaining which is having a main method inside it and there are two functions f1 and f2. What f1 does is f1 takes the string and converts it to the uppercase. Then f2 replaces all the space with a comma in the string. So now if I want to apply and then then I'll write something like this f1 and then f2. What it means is first f1 will be applied which will convert these strings to the uppercase character and then f2 will be applied which will replace all these spaces by the comma. Now let me save it and compile it. Now let me run it. So here you can see all these strings are converted to uppercase character and the space is replaced by the comma. Now if I write something like this f1 dot compose f2 then what will happen first f2 will be applied which will replace all these spaces with the comma and then f1 will be applied which will convert the entire string to the uppercase character. So let me just save the string and let me compile it. So here you can see we are getting the same output but the sequence of application of the function is different. So I hope now you understand what is a function functional interface, where you can use it and what are the default and static methods that are present in the function. How you can use these default methods for function chaining. I hope you like this video so hit the like button, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for yet another videos on Java 8. Till then. Take care, bye bye and thank you for watching.